Hello and welcome back to another episode of RimWorld. Uh, it's uh, dark and dreary and dismal here in the in our poor little colony. Uh, power is an issue, so we've got to work on our power source. But uh, we have an animal starving because uh, I guess he's fully trained now, so he's not getting fed anymore. And I don't have any food set out for him, so we got to fix that problem right now. Uh, I believe we can just make like stockpile like mm, right there and uh, let's uh, clear all and then we'll go with food uh, put meals at kibble we don't have any kibble made because I have to fix my kibble problem I know why kibble is not being made um, and uh, for raw food Uh, I mean, we can put berries out for them, or we can, uh, we can put the human, <laughs> well, the berries will be both for the bunny and the dog, so that might be good, um, but we got this human meat that we, we can get rid of, so I can put out the human meat, um, and then, is there a way to set how much you can put out? Quality is fine. Can we set like the? I guess you can't set like an amount. Like I only want like ten there. Something like that. Like that. You can't do unless hit points. Priority. Uh, priority critical. Okay, and then now for the kibble. Let us, instead of do forever, do until you have. And uh, do five. And I'm allowing human meat in the kibble right now. So we can use up the human meat. Uh, and then we need to allow any vegetables here so I guess hay potatoes corn rice berries and agave not that we have any of any of those but we'll allow all of that and uh, now we'll actually make some make some kibble out of our human meat once the human meat's gone we'll have to maybe add another meat source uh, we're gonna have to do some hunting uh, we won't be able to make kibble in the winter that's gonna be a problem and uh, I didn't make uh, I didn't make enough farms I think so we're gonna have a food issue, we're gonna have a power issue. It's you know it's remote. It's it's the way it goes. Uh, I need to expand my freezer as well. So let's uh, let's at least get. No, I don't want you to consume berries. I want uh, someone to haul that as soon as possible. Hopefully. have you because you're hauling stuff so if I change this to yeah, it's critical now right, we got some uh, food out there now wake him up I can't wake him up Kibble! Look at that. Spoils in less than a day. That's not good. Let's actually not allow meat there. That's probably a mistake. Berries is probably better. Berries will last longer. Okay, let us... We'll change the... Uh, oops. We'll change the storage. We'll actually not allow meat. I wasn't thinking of how quick that was going to spoil. I was just thinking that, that I needed the dog to eat. 
Uh, we'll get rid of this. Kibble's okay. Uh, we'll get rid of uh, human meat there. And we'll allow, we'll definitely allow berries to go there. So the dogs can eat some berries and stuff. So that'll get moved hopefully at some point. We're gonna get some power back. There, we got some kibble out for the animals. Ah, uh, that won't, uh, kibble won't decompose. So that's good actually, that's, I'm glad they added that to the game. Um, it's expensive to make though well maybe not too bad is it one per one? it's one and one details it's only one nutrition one veggie and one meat it requires the veggie though that's the, the hard part uh, details here requires oh, no, no, that's not what I wanted to look at I'll look at a simple meal. Really? Only 0.5 nutrition. So kibble actually costs a lot in terms of uh, stuff. Do they eat 10? Well, three. All right. So that's not too bad, I guess. We can train the bunny. Do we want to train the bunny? Oh yeah, we got he's we've got obedient. Poor Piotr. So our power is uh, terrible. So we got to think about that. Uh, that's the other thing we need to think about here. Uh, power. Uh, we can get a wind turbine going. These take up so much space. I'll get shot by the maybe hmm I don't want to put a wind turbine have to clear out the area there. there can't put it there though didn't plan for this very well did I and go with the fuel generator but that requires uh, that requires us to burn wood and we don't really have like a huge you know, stockpile of wood. I guess maybe I'll go with another solar. We'll do a couple solar. We'll do two more solar panels. And then uh, I think we'll start working towards... Uh, yeah, definitely keep mining the compacted steel. We need it. We need, we need it. Just, just, just get it. We don't need the sandstone, though. All right. So, hmm, yeah, power is going to be an issue, but uh, we'll make a couple more solar generators to help us out. I guess I can make one fuel generator, but as you can see, we don't really have a lot of wood. We got a lot of beds. Uh, these are crappy beds, right? So we, let's just deconstruct this stuff. Awful quality, shoddy quality, poor quality. We'll deconstruct that. We'll get some wood back from that anyway. Um, and he's done, so we can uh, set this for Dixon. His room. What's person doing? Yeah, Are you still mining this stuff? takes forever, but we do need components, so I don't know how many we have right now. 11, 
Oh, I can just look over here. What am I thinking? Uh, 15 components. All right, so yeah, we're definitely going to need these to go because our power is going to be an issue. And we need to make a high-tech research bench. That is huge. That's enormous. Uh, huh. Very many trees in our area that can be chopped down. We've got all these ones here. Did we talk to these guys already? There's a person that's sleeping. You know what? Before I thought we talked to these guys. I think we did, but just to make sure. Uh, we can sell the human meat. Uh, components we can buy, right? We have one. And we'll buy it. And we can buy some insect jelly. Stored and used as food by oversized insects. Smooth, rich, and immensely satisfying. Because it's unique biologic properties. It can nourish almost any creature. And it never rots. Well, that's handy. It's kind of expensive, though. Um, but yeah, we'll buy the component. That's that's worth it. Wish this rain would go away. All right, so I need a bigger area for the research table. I wasn't uh, wasn't thinking about that. I guess. Um, Maybe make another... Big building here. Floor. Still go wood, I guess, because I, uh, I haven't had anybody crafting. I don't have enough wood, of course. We'll get wood. We'll get wood. And... Uh, just put a wooden door in there. For now. Uh, we'll be able to... And... Uh, we'll need lights in there. We'll see how much that lights up. Might have to move the... Uh, Lights might be better in the sort of the middle. We'll put lights in once we get uh, some power and stuff in there. Once it's once it's up. Uh, so we have five bedrooms. We we'll have to think about making a couple more bedrooms, and uh, we definitely need to get get. They're leaving. It's fine. Um. Got nobody focused on crafting. Dixon has got a bunch of priorities prior to crafting. Tony has mining. Right, let's get you to three on mining, uh, three on plant cutting. All right, you're going to be our main, uh, you should be our artist you have a passion for it. History. Learn the history tab. Okay. OK, 
gathering. Oh, they're getting married. Everybody's sleeping. Where are they getting married? I thought they were gathering for their marriage. Had a nice chat. Was insulted. Slated. Nice. Very nice. A parsnip hates him. <laughs> are they going to get married? Oh, here we go. Oh, look at that. Dixon's missing the wedding. Dixon, you're a prick. I'm totally letting the totally letting Piotr eat you if uh, if you die. It's, it's happening. Oh, it's, it's so beautiful. <laughs> Our first wedding in RimWorld. You know it's going to end tragically, but it's a happy moment. It's a happy moment. See, Piotr even took place. Had a nice chat with Tony. <laughs> Come on. They've got to be happy, right? Got married. 50! Look at that! Awesome! So did everybody get a bonus for that? Got married, attended wedding. How long does it last? 14 days. That's pretty good. That's, that's about how long. <laughs> that's. Oh, yeah, of course, Dixon gets nothing. Dixon, you didn't attend the damn wedding. I should have woke you up and made you go. Nine days of plus 25. That's huge. That is huge. Um, yeah, you know, 14 days. That's about how long a marriage should last, I guess. Uh, <laughs> we'll, see, we'll see how long it actually lasts. So yeah, things are uh, things are looking bright here in uh, RimWorld. You know, we're not we're not starving yet. We don't have a ton of food, but we got a bunch of uh, more stuff coming in here shortly. Heel roots not quite done. Our corn's not quite done. We got some potato plants sitting out there rotting. It's good good stuff, guys. Just leave them out there. We don't we don't need potato plants. Uh, I also need to think about. Uh, I need to mine this out too. We should probably set that up as well. Let's uh. We'll mine out an area here. Oops. So that we can expand our uh, our cooler. Put put down like one one floor. Is that? Can I not put floor there or something? Oh, I had lights there. That's why. Put the wood tiles down. Uh, yeah, I keep getting distracted. I need to get a crafter. Uh, Tony's going to work on art. We have a sculptor's table. We have no bills set. That's why she's not doing any artwork. Oh, man. That took forever. That was awesome. Oh, they're all grabbing food. Oh, uh, I don't have enough chairs for everybody. Uh, let's make a small structure. Sculpture, do until you have, yeah, 10, sure. Uh, no, no, we don't want to make it uh, stone blocks. Yes, yeah, silver, no, gold, no, steel, no, plasteel, no, wood, sure, uranium and jade, no. You're not going to be good at it yet, so. Uh, minimum artistic skill. Uh, it doesn't matter. I don't care. Um, we don't have any stone blocks yet, so uh, she'll only be able to make it out of wood at the moment. But uh, so we'll have to get some some crafter going now. So hurdles, constructing, mining, then crafting. will be good and then he's hauling and cleaning primarily 
Uh, yeah, so hopefully Dixon is cooking, constructing, mining. So I got a lot of mining to do anyway. So we'll, 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 we'll somebody will get over there. Hopefully, hurdle. Once the construction is is done. We'll do some uh, crafting, but he's got plant cutting to do as well. So, so many things to do, and I really need some stone blocks. But I don't want to. I want to get the. I want to expand. I need to get this other building up so I can start building, uh, doing uh, the powered research. I think we'll you know, build a standing lamp kind of in the middle. Chopping some trees down. We need the wood in it. Oh yeah, we're out of wood basically, so we're gonna have to go and chop the trees. And we're getting some more compacted machinery. It takes forever to mine this stuff, but you really need the you need that compacted machinery. The components. You know, I, I'm running out of components. Did lights take components? I didn't even look at that. Take steel. Let's check out furniture. Hopefully they don't take okay, just take steel. Uh, let's get, just move that over to the slag chunk there. Oh, cool. Making a cowboy hat. Uh, we should probably start thinking, focusing on the uh, parkas. So tailoring is also an art. I wonder if there's any way to set a priority. Take the best stockpile, do anything that's not suspend. I guess that suspends it. I can move the parkas to the top. That way we'll have some winter winter clothing. Move the uh, toque up as well. He's cleaning up. Man, we're out of power again. Rain, oh, so much rain. It's crazy. Always rains in Rimworld. Man, that's so awesome. The marriage, the, the bonus. That's that's great. Machining, machine machining tables to craft guns, machinery, or disassemble dead mechanoids. Oh, I can craft guns. Oh, that's fantastic. I will right, we'll go to the research screen. I really wanted. Um, Maybe I'll do something small. Smithing maybe? Maybe we'll focus on smithing. Um because I wanted to get uh I have the research table up. Look at look at how empty my stockpile is. I have no wood. I have a little bit of steel. It's crazy. Uh, gonna have to get that wood. Hurdle's gonna have to get out there. But, uh, yeah. Building a cloth parka. We don't have a lot of... 10 simple meals. 29 kibble. Some potatoes. Training the bunny. Why are you using rice to train the bunny? 
At least we're not starving anymore, Piotr. We've, we've fixed that. So that's good. Uh, herbal medicine. That's it's not decomposing yet, but I think I definitely need to get it. Um, the other thing I guess I need is probably there. Oh man, it takes forever to mine these things. It's hurdle. He's sleeping. He's sleeping. Lazy bastard. Gets married. Got married. Look how happy. They filled the whole bar up. Oh, that's awesome. Fantastic. Well, the colony's doing great, so that means bad stuff's on the horizon. So we'll wrap up this episode here. Uh, next time, hopefully we finish off this building. We'll uh, build our new, uh, hopefully our new research station so we can start doing some uh, better research. I'll probably just leave this one here. I don't know if you can stack uh, research. Uh, I'm not sure if that's a thing or not, but uh, we'll try it. And, uh, yeah, mostly I want to get into... Uh, geothermal power, that'll be my next one because I, I want to take advantage of uh, my one geothermal vent here uh, because we'd like the power fight the power do we have any geothermal vents down here there's none down here but we have at least one geothermal vent, uh, we could try and route some power from up here as well but at least one geothermal vent will help us out immensely on our power situation uh, turbines take up so much space. I wonder what other power sources are in here. Let's let's look at the before we log out here. Let's uh crypto sleep vitals geothermal. Component assembly. Oh, it's really expensive. Powered armor. Ship stuff. Yeah, I guess uh, I guess you're sort of stuck with, uh, you know, you do have the uh, the fuel one. So I guess if you grow some some trees, I don't know how much like lumber it uses. So that I'm not sure of. Hmm. Anyway, I hope you've been enjoying the series so far. If you have, don't forget that like button. And until next time, Delgaro.